This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. Polestar is expanding the Polestar 2 lineup. A single motor version is now available. It keeps the same 78 kilowatt hour battery pack as the dual motor models, but its range is 260 miles compared to 233. And if either model is equipped with the new available heat pump, range increases by another 10%. Horsepower in the single motor model is 231 horses compared to 204 horsepower on each axle for the dual motor version. Polestar is also adding a simplified version of the dual motor models to the lineup. Interior and exterior styling is the same for all models. Pricing will be revealed in the next few weeks and single motor Polestar 2s arrive in the U.S. at the end of the year. The launch edition currently costs about 60 grand, so we expect the new models will be below that. Israeli startup REE Automotive is a company that's developed a modular electric vehicle platform. The skateboard design houses the battery in the floor, while the powertrain suspension and steering components are all integrated into the wheel arches at the corners. The platform is designed for commercial applications and can range in size from small urban delivery vehicles to large vans. Last year it signed a deal with Indian automaker Mahindra to develop and build electric commercial vehicles. And now REE is collaborating with the supplier Magna to help it manufacture and bring its platform to the market. REE is targeting tech companies and new electric mobility companies that want to use its platform. Magna and REE will also look into creating mobility as a service in the light commercial vehicle segment. Yamaha is known for making motorcycles, but it also wants to power EV hypercars. It developed an electric motor with an output of up to 350 kilowatts when operating on 800 volts. Yamaha says it's a compact design that integrates the gear and inverter together and expects multiple units to be used together in performance EVs and other high output applications. The company is now accepting commissions for developing prototypes. We want to know what drives your testing, OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing, Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. Volvo is expanding its partnership with NVIDIA to improve the AV capabilities of its next generation vehicles. It's going to use NVIDIA's Drive Orin technology which will allow Volvo to increase its computing power and graphics processing to handle more complex driving situations. Volvo says it will be capable of, quote, unsupervised autonomous driving, or what should be a level two system that it calls highway pilot. The system will be available on Volvo's upcoming SPA2 platform, which underpins the all new XC90 that gets revealed next year. And speaking of NVIDIA, it's teaming up with BMW to help optimize its manufacturing. BMW will use NVIDIA's Omniverse platform, which is a virtual factory planning tool that increases the precision, speed, and efficiency of the planning process. Virtual planning is not new, but requires data from various platforms, which can cause compatibility issues, and the data is not always up to date. Omniverse creates a highly detailed virtual representation of a plant and brings that data, which was coming from various platforms, into one area. This allows those building the plant or making modifications to it to collaborate in real time. We think this is a tool BMW will use to optimize its EV manufacturing, since making EVs requires new or different assembly steps, as well as fewer workers. While Porsche isn't the only brand under the VW umbrella that's working with advanced biofuels and e-fuels, so is Bentley. And it's going to be showing off the capability of those fuels in this downforce machine seen in front of you, 
which will be looking to break a time record up Pikes Peak in late June. But the real hope is vehicles that run on these fuels will be able to travel in areas that have ICE bans since the fuels have shown the possibility to reduce greenhouse gas emissions up to 85% compared to standard fuel. If that happens, companies like Porsche and Bentley will offer renewable fuels to customers so they can keep driving their cars past and present for years to come. The world is changing at an ever-increasing pace. No matter what the mode of transportation, there is always the need for an efficient propulsion system. And that's exactly what Borg Warner has been doing since the earliest days of the automotive industry. Automated and autonomous driving are important developments that help make the traffic of the future safer, more efficient, and more comfortable. We are ZF. General Motors is giving customers who don't have navigation built into their vehicles a solution. It's launching a new downloadable in-vehicle app called Maps Plus. Some of its features include voice command activation for new destinations and directions with Alexa built in, routing based on real-time traffic, speed and road hazard alerts, and routing to nearby gas stations if fuel is low. The upgrade is for select 2018 and newer Cadillac, Chevrolet, GMC, and Buick vehicles. It will start rolling out at the end of the month and be available for all models by the end of the year. We had a Durango SRT Hellcat roll through the Autoline garage, and as you probably guessed, the SUV is powered by the supercharged 6.2 liter Hellcat V8 found in vehicles like the Challenger and Charger. It cranks out 710 horsepower and is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. And all we can say is, wow, this thing will put a smile on your face. The engine sounds great at startup and even better when you put your foot into it. It certainly makes running an errand much more exciting. And like most of Stellantis' vehicles in North America, the interior is top-notch. Ours featured suede on the seats and headliner, along with carbon fiber accents throughout the interior. And it comes with bolstered front seats, a flat bottom performance steering wheel, and other specific trim and badging. But as fun as this model is, there are a few downsides. While the engine does sound great, the rumble can be a bit annoying during everyday driving. And this thing is the definition of a gas guzzler. At an EPA-rated 13 MPG combined, you'll be making lots of trips to the gas station. It's also quite pricey. The SUV starts at about $82,500, but the model we drove had a few upgrades, which pushed the price to just over ninety dollars However, that hefty price is likely due to it being a limited edition model. Dodge is only going to build the SUV for the 2021 model year. So if you're interested in the Durango Hellcat, you don't want to wait around. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Intrepid Control Systems, over-the-air engineering, boost your game. Borg Warner. Propulsion solutions that support a clean, energy-efficient world. And by ZF. ZF, driving intelligence for software-defined vehicles and transforming next-generation mobility.